They drove the fan car upside down, with a giant fan in the back that generates thousands of pounds of downforce, McMurtry proved that the spearling could go upside down. If a car can generate more downforce than it weighs, it can go upside down. But no one has ever tried it because with traditional aerodynamic devices, wings, diffusers, etc., such downforce levels are only achieved at extremely high speeds. Downforce increases with the square of the speed. So building a tunnel of some kind to get a car up to speed and go upside down was just a pipe dream. The McMurtry Spearling Pure, a limited production, track-only hypercar, generates downforce in a different way. Essentially using a fan to suck air out from under the car, the Spearling Pure can generate 4,409 pounds of downforce at zero miles per hour, twice its weight on the pavement. So McMurtry set up a rig at his UK headquarters to flip a Spearling Pure prototype over and actually drive it. Again, McMurtry flipped a car. McMurtry's rig flipped the car while it was stationary, with the fans on and producing maximum downforce. McMurtry's co-founder Thomas Yates then rolled the car forward a few feet while it was upside down. The rig then flipped right side up so Yates could go up a ramp and burn it to the ground for victory. Naturally. It's one of the most spectacular demonstrations of the effects of aerodynamic downforce we've ever seen. Only a fan car capable of producing that level of downforce could pull off the feet. And it came as McMurtry announced that he had run a sub-minute lap around the top gear test track, beating an ex-Renault Formula One car. The Spearling isn't the first car to use a fan to create massive aerodynamic downforce. The 1970 Chaparral 2J Can AM car used a snowplow powered fan to create downforce, and Gordon Murray's Brabham BT46B did something similar in 1978. 
Murray revived the fan car concept for the Gordon Murray Automotive T.50 and T.50S track cars, but only McMurtry offered the public anything that offered such a large fan-generated aerodynamic load.